Hi everyone! On this International Workers' Day, Cuban people will not be able to celebrate as usual in the Revolutionary Square of Havana due to transportation scarcity caused by the lack of supply of fuel. For weeks now, citizens have been waiting in line for gasoline with no end in sight. The current crisis is rooted in the country's long-standing economic partnership with Venezuela. Cuba sends doctors, teachers, and intelligence agents in exchange for shipments of crude, a system that has now fallen apart. Now, Venezuela is not able to fulfill their contractual agreements, and the lack of oil supply is severely impacting the country's economy. The situation is further complicated by U.S. sanctions, which are further reducing Cuba's access to international credit lines and crude production. As if these shortages were not enough, the additional obstacle of having to refine lower quality crude is also present. Cuba is not able to generate enough gas, as they are unable to use higher quality crude due to the restrictions imposed by the U.S. At this moment in time, individuals living in Cuba already struggle to purchase food due to the financial obstacles and rising cost of food items. As a result, the agricultural and sugar production have also been compromised by the lack of diesel availability and resources that needed to harvest. The Cuban Communist Party has officially called off the nationwide annual celebration of International Workers' Day, but the union's leader, Ulises Gallardo de Nascimento, has encouraged people to continue celebrating in the local areas. Unfortunately, it seems that the revolutionary spirit that used to be so strong in past years is slowly fading, as people have become disappointed of the hardships that the country is facing since the 1990s. Struggling citizens, such as Rogelio Sanchez, who has been in line for fuel for four days as of yet, can only hope for some change soon in order to make daily life easier. Hardships come in many forms, and people from all countries suffer from the lack of resources, employment, and the struggle for better living conditions. From all of us here at Channel Name, we would like to celebrate International Workers'